Atluma harrama rabbukum alaykum. I can I can inform you, I can read on to you what your master has forbidden upon you. Allah tushriku bihi shay'an that you should not do shirk with him at all in any way, shape, or form. Wa bil walidayni ihsanan and that you should be the best you can possibly be to both parents. Now, the ayah said, let me tell you what's haram. And what's haram is what is forbidden, right? Logical? What is haram is what is forbidden. What's the first thing that's forbidden? Shirk. He'll say, لَا تَقْتُلُوا أَوْلَادَكُمْ مِنْ إِمْلَاقِ Don't kill your children because of bankruptcy. That's also forbidden. Then he'll say, وَلَا تَقْرَبُوا الْفَوَاحِشِ The ayah will get to, don't, go, don't come near any, any manifestation of shamelessness. Don't come anywhere near anything that could be shameless. Don't go near it. That's haram also. So all the things that are mentioned are things you should not do. But this is a tangent, but an important tangent. The only thing mentioned in the ayahs that you should do is be good to parents. Even though, technically the ayah was only supposed to be full of things that you should not do. Because it began, let me tell you what's haram. Obviously when the ayah begins, let me tell you what's haram, the only thing that should be in the ayah is things that are haram. So Allah says, don't do shirk, okay, haram. Don't kill children you know, because of bankruptcy, haram. Don't do shamelessness or go near it, haram. But before that He said, be good to both parents. To both parents be good. What's the haram in that? What that implies, this is a very powerful device in the language. What that implies is, and anything short of the best to your parents is haram. If you do anything less than the very best you can do with your parents, now you know you're in the haram. وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا is mentioned in the muharramat. It's remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable that the parents are mentioned in this way. You know, there is no other action in Islam where if you don't do ihsan, that you will earn sins. You don't have to have ihsan in your salat. Your salat will still be acceptable. You don't have to have ihsan in your speech. The best possible speech. You can't do it all the time. It's acceptable. You're human. You can't have ihsan in your hajj. You can, may Allah accept all of our hajj. Right? But when it comes to parents, if you don't give them your very best, then you're in the haram. That is wild. That is... Guys, get this through your head. Girls, don't talk back to your mother. Don't, don't do it. I have to say it many times, because you still do it. Girls. Because I don't know what it is. Why you keep talking? Why can't you be quiet? Just be quiet. When your mother says, Help your sister. Can't you help herself? No, just help your sister. Not because you like your sister. Because your mother said it. That's the end of it. That's ihsan. Don't talk back. Don't grunt. <clears throat> Don't wait till your mother quotes me. Then you'll hate me too. <laughs> that I remember what Brother Dhaban said. We were sitting together. Brother, I elbowed you when he said that. <laughs> With guys, both parents, means even your dad, you know the one who gets on your nerves? What did you do today? I was working. No you weren't, you're useless. <laughs> dad. dad, I was working, what do you want? Come on! You do this every time! You're right, I'm useless. I am. What can I do dad? Let's do something. You know? You have to learn ihsan with your parents. Because anything short of ihsan is in that what is forbidden. You can't just say, I'm okay with my parents. And I know it's a parental tangent, I'm not talking about parents today, but I gotta tell you, because the ayah came up. Wabil walidayni ihsanan has no verb. Wabil walidayni ihsanan has a prepositional phrase with your parents. And ihsanun is a hal. The best. Which actually means, Every action you can think of that has to do with your parents better be the best. It can't be limited to one action. Your speech with them better be the best. Your thoughts about them better be the best. Your behavior towards them better be the best. Your spending towards them better be the best. Everything about them, you feed them, give them the best food. Don't give them your leftovers. Don't give them that. You clothe them with the best. Think of clothing them first before you think of clothing yourself. 
everything that you have to do with them better be the best. Ihsanan. And then finally, another grammatical analysis of the word Ihsanan is Al-Ihsan ala al-Ighra, Al-Nasb ala al-Ighra. And when it comes to your parents, the best. That's it. That's all I can explain. That's all it says. Like Allah is telling you, He's grabbing you, He's shaking you, and He's saying, the best. You got it? I got it. One word, enough said. I'm not gonna say any more. Sometimes your parents talk to you like that. Homework. <laughs> That's all they say. Dinner. One word. And you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. If this was Arabic grammar, that would be dinner run. It would be nasub. Okay? <laughs> That's how you communicate. That's it. Get it through your heads. Okay? No more talking. End of discussion. There's one word and that's the end of it. That's وَبِلْ وَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا It's very strong ayah. Very strong ayah.